All right, everyone, welcome back. I'm Captain Paul Clark. This is Motor Yacht Loon, and this is part two of our eight-day charter in the BVIs. Guys, the weather really turned on for the second part of this charter, so we had such an amazing time. We actually struggled to fit it all in this video. You're gonna watch, wanna watch this one all the way to the end, so stick around. <laughs> Got a new hat. <laughs> this still blue water. We don't wanna be anywhere else. So Chris is new here, new lead. He's going on his first hike. I'm just gonna stitch him up a little bit here and put some dive weights in his hiking bag. <laughs> He's got about two hours maybe. Maybe about ten that pounds, eleven pounds of this. That with some waters, ice and snacks and it's gonna have fun on this hike, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be new. Sucks <laughs> to be new. Okay, so now for a hike, we're going to climb this one over here behind us. It's a 300 meters elevation. We just got dropped off by the tender, the boys there. We've got Chris behind us with his bag full of dive weights. And uh, let's get it on. You! So, so Max. Yeah. So uh, leading, leading number one in line, what's yeah. your job? Catching spiders. Breaking all the spider webs. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, thank you for taking one for the team. Always. Let, it, let us know how that goes. <laughs> so we've been hiking about 10-15 minutes now we're a little over 150 feet of elevation from sea level and we just discovered a boat shows you the power of hurricane when Irma came through here in 2017 she got up here the uh, little red pretty crazy it just shows you 2017 that Irma was a hurricane there's a tree growing through the wheel can't drive this one. Life jackets and flares and all kinds of crazy stuff downstairs. Sad that it got here like this. Poor little red. Stuck on me man bun. All right, here we go. Got to go hands and knees and crawl through this one. Yeah, where we this trail's getting thicker and thicker. Just handing those water bottles out, hey? Trying to get it lighter. <laughs> yeah. Lighten it up. It's the same as Frank on this bag. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Blaze got the drone flying around. I'm not sure if you can see him over there, but uh, we made it to the summit. Whew. I'm out of breath. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. Pretty cut up as well. Got a little steep towards the end there. That false summit definitely uh, sucked. Uh, giving us false hope there that we'd made it. Look at this. I mean, what a view. You could see Loon all the way down there. And then you go all the way over. What a spectacular summit. Got Virgin Gorda up to the north over here. The baths just down here. We come back. Got the airport. You know, you can see that we've seen the planes coming on and off. Chris. Hiking guide. <laughs> We've got down through Tortola, St. John in the background, Norman Island, Peter Island, Cooper Island and Salt Island. I mean, 360 de degree views around here, not 365. And I mean, spectacular. What a cool hike. Really glad we managed to get up here. So, you Now. Now to go back down. Now we just got to get back down. Find through all the thorns. But you know, down's always easier than up. 100%. Awesome. Chris has just discovered something. I think the boys put some dog weights in my bag. They wouldn't have done that to you, <laughs> would they? <laughs> <laughs> this is this evil. How heavy do you think that bag is? Sure, at least 60 pounds. That's fine, <laughs> Tyler and Cora, I'm getting your boys back. I'm getting your boys back. <laughs> Get the drinking water. This thing I know, I know water. nothing about this, mate. I had absolutely oh, nothing to do with any of this. Absolutely evil. <laughs> <laughs> now you got to take it down. Really cool hike. The views are just absolutely spectacular up here. And I mean, wow, gonna do this one again for sure. This, I think this is a new favorite, especially here in the BVIs, where there really isn't that much elevation in the hikes. But this one, this one pretty special. I mean, got the airport behind me. Everything, what a, what a really cool, really cool hike. I get the, get the breath back, and then I, I need to catch back up to the guests who have uh, left me in their dust. So, uh, whew, beautiful. 
old loony. Look at her looking great down there. It's so much easier going down than up. All right, getting there. We're probably three quarters of the way down, passing Little Red again. The fine ship, Chris's old drive before he joined us. Hey, yeah, now, uh, no, 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 I'm using it on you now. Almost at the end. What a, just got a, the bottom of the path is a little thick, but um, definitely worth it for those views at the top. What we'll do guys is, uh, in this video, I'll make sure Blair puts a link in for this hike for anyone that's down here in the BVI, so the link to the Old Trails. Old Trails is the app that we use for finding a lot of these hikes and uh, is always really great for directions and satellite overlay. And uh, so yeah, so we'll make sure that there's a, a little link down below so you guys, if anyone's here, can do it as well. I definitely recommend it. It's uh, one of the coolest ones I've done in the BVI's for sure. Jordy. <laughs> Everybody's in on it. <laughs> All right, we made it back. What a uh, what an awesome hike. You can see it behind me there. That's where we got to all the way up the top. Whew. A little over two hours. Uh, for those that were wondering, it's called Waterfront Road Hike. I don't know why it's called a road when it's a hike, but um, really good. Look it up on all trails. As I said, we'll drop the link below. Definitely a good one. I will keep that one in mind for uh, future trips, future guests. And uh, yeah, that's us finished up here at uh, Tortola Beef Island. And so let's pick up the anchor and get going over to a North Sound now. It's, uh, Beautiful day, the sun's finally out, first time of the trip, so let's make the most of it. Okay, so... There's just been a mayday call, a missing diver in the water, uh, right in these islands, right in front of us, the Dog Islands. So we actually dropped our tender. The tender's run ahead with uh, Blair, Bjorn and Tyler in it. They're ahead communicating with the Coast Guard. We're coming in behind. We're about three, four minutes behind. I'm almost at flat stick. I'm going about as fast as I can in these conditions. And uh, we're gonna go on station as well and start with the uh, search and rescue. Apparently, uh, there's a lady who is uh, scuba diving and uh, she's actually not been found, so she's around this area. Uh, we're picking up anchor at the moment and uh, we're well, real well to shoot up ahead and we're gonna go see if we can find her. I've got uh, myself, Blair, and uh, Bjorn. Uh, we've got some few goggles and uh, see if uh, we can uh, find her and locate her. To give you an update, we have just found the person that put out the radio call. It is a single uh, person on a dinghy. I think he's obviously lost someone that was diving with him. Um, I don't know how he's out here in this swell in a dinghy. It is really not good at all. Um, so hopefully we can find this person. He says it's a woman. She's got a, an orange boy with her and they were just diving in between the rocks here. She got tripped out and he lost out of her. I'm not surprised because the swell is not very really nice at the moment. The wind against current, it's really not good. Uh, so we are just trying to assist right now. So you're looking for a long cylinder, long dive tube, right? Hey guys, they just found her. The blue boat just found her. Cool, so they uh, found her. The boat's actually right next to us as we were coming on station, managed to pick the diver up out of the water. So. Thankfully, it came to a great conclusion. We were, you know, but our tender, uh, Real Wild, was on, on station maybe 15 minutes before us. You know, we just arrived just as it was uh, winding down. So, uh, you know, that's what we're here for. We're here to assist. So, thankfully, um, it, came, it all ended well. As you saw, I had all the boys up here on the bridge with me with their binoculars out. Uh, everything went great. So, continue on with the day. Okay, so just behind us, you can see Loon. Um, she is just pulling past the search area right now. And just off here, I'm not too sure if you can see very well, but we have two vessels, the um, search and rescue boats and the dive boat that was looking for her. Uh, the dive boat found her literally just right, just in front of us, thank goodness. 
Um, so they just recovered it. Loon is now pulling back around to our original course, just over here at North Sound. And um, we're gonna continue operations like normal. We're yeah. now gonna go pick up. It's like Sessions yeah. Farm, man. That's, that's the best. That yeah. is so good. The conditions out here are gnarly at the moment. I would say 10 foot small minimum. Yeah. Like, it is huge. I'm sure Blair will link the, the video of just Loon coming through here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not nice out here, but it's epic that we found her and she was, she was probably only about 300 meters or 400 meters away from where she got, got lost, so it's epic. Yeah. Beyond did nothing the entire time. They made it outside today. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Blair, why don't you drive in the gender? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, so here we are. We just came into Virgin Gorda Sound. This is one of the most spectacular harbors in the Caribbean. It's got full 360 degree protection and just a really, really beautiful bay. We're going to go up and around the corner. There's Sabre Rock, the Bitter End Yacht Club, and then obviously Necker Islands just a little bit further out, Richard Branson's Island. But we love coming in here. Today it's blowing 25, 26 knots. There was some huge swell out there, seven, eight footers. And so we had to kind of just roll our way through them to come up here. But now we're up here, we're in nice flat calm water, even though the wind is cranking. This is uh, awesome. As a crew, we love to come here. We all kite surf up here, have, go have a drink at Sabre Rock. Really cool. We're going to spend about the next two days or so up here, hanging out with the guests and doing lots of water sports and uh, having some fun. So I'm going to quickly tell you about what the purpose of our foremaster is, this little guy right over here. Uh, a lot of people don't know what it is and they always ask us in the comments, what is this? So basically it's a retractable pole that goes up and down. We lift it in the mornings. Um, sorry, we lift it in the evenings and it goes down in the mornings. So it has two lights on top of it, one all round white light and then one forward facing white light. And uh, basically we use what the all round white light when we are at anchor, we have a stern anchor light and a forward light. And that just allows vessels like maneuvering around the anchorage at night to see kind of what position we're in. One of them is higher than the other. Um, the forward, forward mast light is higher than the stern light. And then it gives vessels at night kind of an idea of where a vessel is anchored, what kind of way they're facing and so on. And then the, um, the forward facing white light is what we use when we are underway at night. That is required for vessels over 50 meters. Um, so we have a mast headlight, which is always higher than the forward facing uh, steaming light. And that's kind of all, all, all it is. Um, it's retractable just because it works better with the aesthetics of the boat. A lot of the more modern super yachts have retractable full masts. Um, it just looks better. It goes, it goes a lot better than a big kind of structure that's always up in the front of the boat. So just to look good, but um, yeah. That's it. One of the cool things we've done tonight is we've brought a magician on board to show the guests. So he just spent two hours with them doing a whole show and absolutely blowing their minds. We now have a quick five, 10 minute crew talk and show with the crew. So uh, John, take it away, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the end of a very busy day. Wow. Uh, anchors up around 6 a.m. Moved over to Beef Island for the guest changeover. Then we climbed a mountain, which was awesome. Climbed back down a mountain, went in, went for a snorkel, picked up anchor, got caught in the middle of a mayday call and a search and rescue for a lost diver which was not expected in pretty rough weather. So we were there bobbing up and down, binos out, search and rescue. We found the diver and then we continued on up to North Sound, had an amazing dinner, had a, ma a magician come on board. I mean, it's going, what, a little after 11 p.m. now. Whew, big day, but uh, guests absolutely loved it. And, um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. We're going to go check out Necker Island, hang out here around North Sound. And um, days like today is what makes it all worth it. So I, it went well. Excellent. Well, good night.
Okay guys, it's day six and you may have guessed that it's Thanksgiving today. So we're sitting here in North Sound in British Virgin Gorda and it's one of our favorite anchorages here in the BVIs. It's a uh, flat calm water, full 360 degrees of uh, protection and just a uh, really nice protective harbor. So we're gonna hang out here, have actually a bit of a lazy day, but um, guests are gonna go kite surfing. We've got some wing surfing lessons up at Saber Rock uh, and then head over to the yacht club for a little bit. And then we've got, actually we've been requested to not do the big traditional turkey and cooking. They wanna do a Thanksgiving pizza party. So Nina is down below. She's doing uh, turkey pizzas. She's doing an apple pie pizza, a uh, pumpkin pie pizza. So all kinds of traditional Thanksgiving meals. So uh, it's gonna be interesting and uh, it's gonna be a great day. So follow along. And I'm out. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, Paul just radioed, said he saw the fishermen ashore and he sent them over so we can have a look at what they've got. I'm hoping for some really nice mahi, maybe some wahoo. We'll see. Hi guys. That is immense. That's epic, eh? Nice, yeah. guys. When did you catch these? Like, just today? Yeah, just today. It's amazing. Nice. You got any other ones? Or? Do you have anything uh, smaller? We've got eight chests. <laughs> we have some smaller waffles. How much are you talking to these guys? Uh, 14 pounds. 14 pounds. How do you weigh them on a boat? Oh, uh, we have our scale there. Oh, I see. Oh, amazing. Why do you want to wait these this guy? This big one. That's epic. Are we going to take that one? I think so. We'll see how heavy it is. It's a lot of fish, though. Yeah. It's a lot of fish. Crew might be a bit lucky. Yeah. <laughs> do you have it? What mahi do you have? Just this one? Just, just yeah. that one. Oh, okay. Fourteen a pound as well. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen to the mahi. Oh, I'm kind of tempted by the mahi. What do you reckon? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mahi. Get the crew. Get some mahi and the crew, Miz. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you reckon we get the mahi? <laughs> oh my god! Give away this guy, and we'll we'll even take a look at him. Oh, that is a good-looking yeah. mahi. <laughs> Big bull. <laughs> Any extra for you guys to take the size off for us? Ah, you see? Yeah. I'm just telling him about it. Yeah, you're gonna do that. You guys have a nice fillet knife? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Sure. Like, hey, Sean. Sean. Yes, yes, <laughs> 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 I know. Business. I know. <laughs> I'm just telling him. Yeah. Offer to take the. Yeah. Nice. The, I like yeah. this. This is a great service then. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. Fresh yeah. fish. You can't can't beat it. Yeah. This is why we love the Caribbean. So I just came outside, uh, I was on a conference call and uh, it's Thanksgiving today and I uh, just stumbled upon this going on on the foredeck, check this out. What are you guys doing? Got Director Blair up there. Creative director over here. Yeah. So. Oh, you see my tail? Go on, wiggle it for us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look ridiculous. Jumping. Look good, feel good. <laughs> 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 Don't hide your face. Who down at the turkey seat? Not me. Anyway, so they're shooting this for the Instagram as one of our reels. We try and do a lot of the holidays. So uh, shoot on over to the Instagram page at Modi.loon and you'll be able to see the finished result. But uh, it's quite entertaining watching this from behind the scenes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so here we are in the baths of the BVIs. One of our favorite excursions to do here. These super cool big boulders you can see behind me. And you get to go and climb all through them, hands and knees through little holes. There's a really nice one called the, ca uh, the cavern in there, which is a really beautiful thing. I'll show that as we get to it. Guests are swimming ashore behind me. I'm about to jump in, swim in and catch up to them as well. So uh, let's go. Woo! Didn't lose the costas, most important thing. All right, so we're here at the start. Bjorn's already going through. I'm right behind him. A whole bunch of ducking and squeezing and going in. So this is called the Casino. One of the famous spots along the bath tour. How cool is this? What an awesome little cove, cave. Really, really love coming and going for a swim in here. Cool thing about this is we've also got to do some swimming. So I'll swim through here, swim through this little cave here. Oh, it's getting shallow. Watch out for the swell. And there we go. Oh, bit of some waves behind me there. This is awesome. I always love coming to the baths. This is by far one of my favorite tours we do down here in the Caribbean. Uh, it's Unlike anything else. And then coming to the end of the hike, we pop out at this beautiful Devil's Bay. So check this beach out guys, absolutely stunning. We often come here and just play for hours. A little bit of a surge today, but still just absolutely spectacular. You can play and jump all over the rocks. It really is just paradise here. One of our absolute favorite destinations. Woo. Now we gotta just run back to the boat. They, are, they have a dinghy line here where tenders aren't allowed in. So we have to do a little swim. See the uh, HCB sitting out there. So I better catch up. Everyone's ahead of me. Quick little swim. Fight my way through the waves. And let's go. There you go. Corey, finally being a nice person. <laughs> Bring it over to me. So, there we go. Bjorn. You want to swim ahead? Don't great. What a great tour. I think now uh, we'll throw on some snorkels and go for, a, go for a swim, check out some of these rocks. Too good not to. Another captured friend of mine told me that there's a little bell cave here somewhere where you can swim in. There's a big air pocket inside. I've never found it before. He didn't really tell me much except just saying, look to the east here. I'm gonna just sort of swim around. Guess they're still on the tender. Uh, getting ready to jump in and I'm just trying to see if I can find this cave because that would be super cool if we would be able to find it. Let's have a look. Ooh. Catch my breath. <sighs> Alright, so I just dove down and I found something that sort of looks like a bit of a cave. Oh, 
This is getting so frustrating, we've got to find this. I think I've got a little too far. <laughs> I'm going to start moving back this way, see if there's anything that I maybe I missed. Alright, so I'm kind of back where I started. Found two little other caves. But I think I might have just stumbled upon it. I see it just below me here, a little entrance. <sighs> so, let me just breathe up. A little bit shallower than I thought it would be. So I'm still quite close to the beach. But I think this might be it. So come check this out, ready? One, two, three. I'm gonna go find the guests. They're off snorkeling a little bit around the corner, and we're gonna bring them back and see if they can get in the cave. That was awesome. Woohoo! So stoked to find that. Epic. <laughs> Captain Tyler. Hey, hey. How's it going, guys? Where are we? We are just outside of Rich, Sir Richard Branson's uh, island here at Necker Island um, in the uh, BVIs. So um, we're just anchoring just outside, just slowing her down nicely now, and then uh, get a nice perfect spot. It's nice and blue out that side. I think uh, the last time I was here was maybe eight years ago when I was a decky doing nights. <laughs> when else were you here, Paul? Uh, I was here a couple of, couple of years ago as well. Um, one of my old previous owners actually had a wedding here yeah. back in uh, about 2013, 2014. And uh, we had a big party up at the Great House on top of the hill. And we had the yacht anchored out front. It was a, uh, it was a great, great event. Um, yeah. Nice. So. Did you go on to Yeah. Really? Yeah. Cool. One of, the, one of the really cool features of this island, which has always kind of mesmerized me, was um, in the Bali house, which is the little house over there. I'll, I'll send the drone over in a little bit. Um, in, the guest bed, in the guest bathroom at the Bali's house, I was, uh, we had a couple of drinks and I was standing at the toilet going to the bathroom and uh, looked up and there is a signed picture. Dear Richard, thank you for all the, guy, all the good times. Lots of love. Nelson Mandela. No way. And I'm like, only Richard Branson would put that in his house, in, in his bathroom of his guest house. Like, everybody else that would be front and center, you know, like, prized possession hey, in the bathroom of the guest house. Two shots. That's when you know you're a bowler. You guys get <laughs> drop, drop in the bowler. Awesome. This is gonna be a cool one afternoon. And a half, one and a half. Okay, so we just arrived at Necker Island. So Richard's up here to greet us. So uh, we'll say hi, and then we're going off on an island tour. So it's going to be awesome. Here's, yeah, here's the bomb. they Good like shows. me. What's happening there, Blair? You have any cooking in your pocket that I can? No, I got no food, man. <laughs> just um, just got one of old Richie B's yeah, lemurs on my shoulder. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? How cool is this? This little one is That's like right. the last one. Is so good. He's I really chilling. like the tortoises. Hey, they're so cute. That's the unreal. Uh, <laughs> Keep it open. Open your arms up. Yeah, so they don't be too close. Right? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, oh, so nah, cool. Didn't like it. This is One of the coolest experiences in Necker Island is the Rigtail Libra experience. This is so awesome with our friends. Okay, oh no. <laughs> No, oh, they're so this soft. Flower? I'll put it for you on your head so you'll get a nice one. Yeah. This one? <laughs> this, this is one of the only places in the world where you can do this. How cool is it? Okay. Uh, I've got a new hat. <laughs> uh, How was that? They're so soft and cute. What do we have over here? What do we have here? So not just the lemurs, but they've also got a bunch of tortoises here. Now these guys apparently, some of them are even extinct in the wild now, but uh, they're trying to breed them and, and grow the population. So a uh, really big uh, animal program here. And I mean, look at these guys, how cool are they? Gotta be really careful. I almost actually stepped on one before. They're running between your feet, trying to get the leftovers from the lemurs. But uh, really cool little guys. And they're super friendly. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this little fella. Look at this little guy, crikey. <laughs> How cool is that? For 100 yards, sorry. They're so cute, aren't they? <laughs> so we're over on the north side of the island and we got to go see the flamingos. Check these guys out. How cool are they? Native flamingos, they come here, they, they're here all year round, they breed on the island, and I mean, they're just the funniest birds. They are, you can see them with their heads up, running around, all the, all the males, it's a mating season at the moment, so they're all uh, flapping their wings and trying to attract that mate. But uh, we've been standing here for about 20 minutes now watching these guys, and they're just really <laughs> quite funny. So, no, this is awesome. This, this island is incredible, it really is. All right, let's go on to the beach. So check out my friend here, his name's Indian, the 77-year-old Galapagos tortoise. Look at the size of him, he weighs over 700 pounds. Such, he loves to have his neck tickled like this. Look at this, look how cool he is. Just such a big old man. One of the highlights on the island, like everything else. Just cruising around the island on the uh, convertible golf carts. How cool. Comfortable as he calls Com them. Comfortable golf carts. <laughs> this is, uh, everything on this island is just perfect, isn't it? There is just kept, upkeep is amazing. I to get my <laughs> and that ends our tour in Necker Island. What a really cool island. It was really great to get over here and finally see it all. Something we're gonna try and come back to time and time again. Th big thank you to Sir Richard Branson and all the staff here that made the visit absolutely spectacular. And uh, yeah, back to Loon now and we're gonna go tuck into Virgin Gorda for the evening. The sun's dropping and so let's get out of here before it gets too dark. Cool, so another day winds down. Absolute killer day. Uh, busy from the moment the sun came up to the sun gone down. Uh, picked up anchor in Virgin Gorda. We cruised down to the bath. Had such an awesome time running through all the rocks, a little snorkel, finding that cave. That was really cool, something I've always wanted to do. So super stoked that we were able to find that. Then we all piled back on a loon. We cruised back up to Necker Island, managed to have a guided tour, play with the lemurs, ride a tortoise, you know, and then met Sir Richard Branson and had a uh, cocktail with him. Now we come back to the loon. We've then cruised back into Virgin Gorda and uh, we're gonna spend the night here tomorrow. Uh, not too sure yet. I think we're actually going to run down to Peter Island and get into the White Bay there on the south, uh, southwestern side of Peter Island. We're going to spend the day there, last day for this trip. So big beach set up, play in the sand. We haven't done much of that this trip yet. Bit of a snorkel, water sports, maybe throw the wake boat back in the water and then uh, round off the last final day and then head back to St. Thomas for drop off in two days time. So still a long way to go. Always try to make a big effort on the final day of the trip. So uh, let's get it done. 
Okay, so we've just arrived back in Norman Island. We actually did try to go into Peter Island, but there was actually just a little bit of southerly swell coming through. So we're like, eh, for the final day, we want to come here, have some nice flat water. So we just moved that extra about mile and a half and came back around into the bite of Norman Island. Uh, the guests are just about to go off snorkeling. There's some really cool caves over on the uh, western side of Norman Island. So we're going to go snorkel them and then come back, do some last minute water sports before the sun drops down on us. And then tomorrow morning, nice and early, anchor up and we're going to head back into to St. Thomas. Awesome guys, great charter. Those guys absolutely loved it. They gave me a lot of good feedback. I think it went well. Uh, interior did great. Deck boys, you crushed it. Uh, everyone really came together in that one. And uh, you know, I feel like we did a really good job there. So guys, thank you so much. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. So, uh, you know, they are our favorites. They have been on board a couple of times. They know us, we know them. And uh, unlike the last charter, they left us an amazing gratuity, guys. Uh, I'll let you know what it is a little bit later, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but well done. You know, big, big props to everyone. You guys really crushed it and knocked it out of the park. So awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, moving on to the next couple of days, guys, we have uh, five days off now. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave St. Thomas here, cruise back up to the BVIs. We're going to sit at anchor up in North Sound for the next five days. We've got a special surprise. Uh, Richard Branson and the staff at NECA have invited us to go to NECA for the next couple of days. Oh, yeah. so, <laughs> so we get a bit of a play there. We can also do some kite surfing and just hang out with the staff. I think there was a big beach bonfire in the works as well. So that'll be cool. And then after that, uh, in the next couple of days, we'll all jump in the tender. We'll go down to the baths and the BVIs for you guys that haven't been down there yet. Go check out that, go for a snorkel go for a scuba dive on the Rhone, uh, and then we'll finish it off with a, a Willie T's party. So, uh, yeah. guys, yeah. awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Let's finish up here, and uh, let's get it done. Cool. Well, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, that, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, what an awesome week that was. Guys, we did everything. I mean, Necker Island, Sabre Rock, The Baths, uh, Snorkeling Norman's Key, Willie Tees, I mean, the list goes on. It's amazing how much we can actually cram into an eight day charter. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to subscribe and like to us. Check us out on Instagram for daily updates at Modi Yacht Loon. And uh, check out our website if you want to book a charter, www.yachtloon.com. Thank you very much and we'll see you next week.